Hey, it's Tom Gallagher, the video Panure. Today we're at Bourbon RV looking at a little vintage trailer action. 2021 Gulfstream Vintage Cruiser 19 ERD. There's the uh, vintage cruiser badging on the front nose. You can see the propane bottles, the power tongue jack, as well as we have pass-through storage. Also just showed you the floor plan. You can pause and take a look at the floor plan. Very impressive floor plan. As you look at the pass-through pass storage, here are some of the vitals on this. The uh, sale price is $25,755. Quite a value for, uh, for that type of money. There you can see the power awning with the outdoor speakers. Love the uh, window. When we go inside, you'll see the value or the benefit of that window for the dining area. This RV sleeps three. Hey, it's Tom Gallagher, the video Panure, and thanks for watching this video. Please consider hitting the thumbs up button if you find this video helpful and or enjoyable. YouTube will put this video out in front of more folks if you do so and help us grow this channel. If you have any comments or questions, drop them below and also check out our Instagram and Facebook pages. You can also leave me a message there. Lastly, I'm trying to improve my game, so feel free to give me feedback, make requests, anything that you think would be helpful, drop that below and hit the subscribe button on your way out. Thanks again and here we go. And get a load of this. Interior height is six foot 11. Wow. We have one awning, as I mentioned. Length is 23.2. Dry weight is 33.94. There's the dining area with uh, windows on three sides, as well as your entertainment system and cabinet storage above. What do you think of the uh, retro look of the interior of this vintage RV? It's a 2021 model, but looks like it came out of uh, 1965. What a great look, in my opinion. Plenty of solid wood surfaces as we look through all the cabinets and uh, dive into the kitchen. Nice deep stainless steel sink, under cabinet storage in the uh, under counter storage in the form of drawers and nice deep drawers. So the, the, the reason of the shallow drawer is you have your plumbing for your, your uh, sink and then below that you're able to have the full length drawer. Here we have an oven with a glass top over the cooktop and then we have the two burner three i'm sorry three burner cooktop and nice backsplash with the uh you could place play uh, some checkers on there microwave oven really an impressive rv in my opinion there's some more of that wood and love the 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 uh, radius of that corner so you don't have to worry about uh sharp corners there so here's a great area to put your flat screen tv you also have your control panel for your awning as well as your led lighting here we have a refrigerator freezer a combo refrigerator freezer and it's perfect for boondocking because the uh, size accommodates uh it's a six cubic foot refrigerator so you can use a solar panel or a backup generator to power that. There you saw the shower and then your commode is on the other side as well as your sink. So they split it up or a pass through. You have shower on one side and then bathroom on the other. The water heater capacity is six gallons. Your LP bottles up front, you have two at 20 pounds. The shower size is 24 by 36. The water heater, as I mentioned, is a six gallon DSI gas. Here we dive into the bedroom. That's a queen size bed. We have wardrobes on both sides. So his and her wardrobes and clothing rod, as well as LED accent lighting above the bed and USB as well as residential plugins at the head of the, uh, the uh, bed. So you can plug in your CPAP and or your uh, charging ports for your cell phone. And then under bed storage, plenty of room under the queen size bed and more of that solid wood surface. 
I really like the uh, the amount of wood in these. It really it harkens back to the 50s and 60s. The electrical service in this unit is a 30 amp electrical service. There's where you can put a flat screen TV pre-wired for the flat screen TV as we walk into the family room. There's the furnace. It's a 20,000 BTU furnace. What do you think of the floor plan? What do you think of the, uh, the, the vintage look? Leave a comment below if this would be your ideal RV.